Hey everybody, today we'll be adding and subtracting. Exciting! So we're going to start right off with an example, since you've been adding and subtracting for a while now. This one's given to us horizontally. We like these better if they're written vertically, and we just align our place values. So all your ones go together, and all your tens go together, and so on. So then we start on the right with our 1s, adding our 7 and 4, we get 11. So we leave the 1 and the 1s, and we carry the other 10 to the next column. Now we have 0 and 9, which is 9, plus the 1 we carried is 10. So we leave our 0 here, and we carry that 1 over. Then we have 2 and 8, which is 10, with the 1 we carried, so that's 11. So we take 1 here, and we give 1 to the neighbors. And then we have 6 and 7 is 13, plus the 1 we carried, so that's 14. We can leave the 4 here, but we have to carry a 1 to the neighbors. Now we just have 1 and 5, which is 6, and boom, we're done, just like that. Let's try a subtraction problem. Okay, here again it's given horizontally. We like that better if it's vertically. Just line up your place values. Now you see here, if we try and take 8 away from 0, we can't. If we try and take 7 away from 6, we can't. If we try and take 9 away from 4, we can't. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to have to do a little borrowing or regrouping work. So let's start by taking 110 away from the tens place. So that's 6. Let's chop it. Give that 10 to the neighbor. So where I had a 0, I'll now have 10 over there. And since I took 110 away from my 6 tens, I'm left with 5 tens. Okay, now we can't take that 7 away from the 5, so let's look in our hundreds place. We're going to have to take one of those hundreds away from the 4. And we're going to give that to the neighbor, so my 5 over there became 15. Now, since I took 100 away from my 400s, I'm just left with 300s. Now, I still can't take 9 away from 3, so I'm going to need something from the 8 next door. So let's take one of those 1000s away, which gives me 10 hundreds, which goes over to my 3 and leaves me with 13. And since I took one of those 1000s away from my 8000, that drops me down to 7. And now we're ready to subtract. That easy. 10 minus 8 is 2, 15 minus 7 is 8, 13 minus 9 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3, and now here in the 10,000s, I have a 7 on top and I have nothing on the bottom, so 7 minus nothing is exactly 7. Pretty easy, right? Okay, let's try a real world example. Ooh, word problem. Okay, we have three populations here and we want to know the difference between the biggest city and the smallest city. Okay, let's give ourselves some room to work here. Let's first find the largest city. So these are both five-digit numbers, so this six-digit number is the largest. And then we want to know the difference between that one and the smallest. So which one's smaller between this one and this one? Well, I have a five in the ten thousands here, but I have a one in the thousands here and a zero in the thousands here, which makes this one the smallest. Okay, so now let's write our subtraction problem. We have 236,897 minus 50,550. So all this subtraction looks pretty clean. 7 minus 0, 9 minus 5, 8 minus 5, 6 minus 0. The 3 minus 5 is a trouble spot for us. So what we'll do is we're just going to take one of these from here, and we're going to give it to the neighbor. Okay. Now we're all set up. 7 minus 0 is 7, 9 minus 5 is 4, 8 minus 5 is 3, 6 minus 0 is 6, 13 minus 5 is 8, and 1 minus nothing is 1. And you're all done. Okay, now it's your turn to practice adding and subtracting. 